Oh, welcome, Wolf and Wolf it. So we are back with a brilliant house flipper on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And right now, I'm standing in my front garden, glaring at my neighbour, Anthony Gray, just to let him know that if he keeps on perving on me and the other neighbours, I am going to come out with my chainsaw and chop off his balls. So at the moment, I'm just standing in my front garden looking a little bit menacing. And when you've got a dodgy house like this behind you, as well as a rusty chainsaw, that's when you know people are going to take notice. So hopefully Anthony Gray won't send me any more stroppy emails. But yeah, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be heading back to our first property and we're going to start decorating it today. Now in the last video, I cleaned the place up. I sold all of the old stuff like the old kitchenware, the old bathroom stuff. I sold all the crap and uh, I also gave it a good old scrubbing. So today it's gonna to be all about painting, decorating, buying furniture, and all that good stuff. Now, um, I've actually got my cat Lola behind this green screen. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say I trust her very much because one time she jumped on the green screen because there was a fly on it, and then she completely messed up my video. So, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit on edge at the moment that my green screen is just gonna collapse on me any minute now because uh, Lola is a bit of a punk. She's very, very frisky. But yeah, let's, um, let's head back to our first property. I could hear her licking herself behind my green screen and it's, it's creeping me out. It sounds dodgy. <laughs> right, now um, when I was playing this game on my own, um, I completely decorated a house, made it look absolutely beautiful, and then I sold it. And then when I came back onto the game the next day, for some reason, I guess the game didn't save or something, and my house had been reverted back to its original state where nothing had been cleaned, nothing had been done, and it was just a freshly bought house again. So I'm hoping that that hasn't happened on my YouTube save, otherwise uh, I'm gonna be a little bit pissed off because I cleaned all of this house in the last video and I sold all the doors, got rid of all the crap so it was ready for today's video where I could start decorating. So, oh no, it looks like it's all fine, lovely. Right, now um, if I remember correctly, I had a look through the comments section and I think what I saw was I think I think my sister Chunky Lappy wanted me to make a Halloween themed house. I think Keely New One might have made might have made a comment about it being sort of like a log cabin, I guess, maybe. I might be getting that completely wrong, but I think it was something like that. And I think uh, the Macabre gamer was being a little bit kinky and told me to build a bondage room, which uh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do those things in this house, just because this is a very small house. So I think what I might do is I might decorate this house, just do it any, any old way, earn a load of money, and then I might buy the fourth house, and then we can decorate that house, and I can probably do everything that you guys and girls want, because the uh, fourth house is a lot bigger, and there's a lot more space to do things, because this house, and the next two are just really puny. So I think I'm just gonna decorate this house in a very generic kind of way, sell it, earn about 20 grand profit hopefully, and then we can go get the uh, even bigger house and I can do everything that you guys and girls said. But if you've got any other ideas, let me know in the comments and uh, we can also add that to the house I'll buy after this one. So I'm gonna sell all of the fixtures as well just because I don't, I don't like where they tell me to build radiators. I like to build radiators where I wanna build them. I'm also going to get rid of all of the plumbing and stuff because we're going we're gonna to redesign everything. I'm also going to get rid of all the light switches as well if I haven't already done that. I think I've already, I've already done that. Let's have a look. Yep, I think I've got rid of all the light switches already. So I think what we're going to do, I already knocked down a wall here because this... Oh, hang on, what's that? I think that's a light switch. Yeah, uh, I think what we're going to do is this is going to be like an open plan kitchen so there'll be a kitchen in this area and in this area here will be like the living room then this will obviously continue to be the bedroom and then over here will obviously be the bathroom but i think i might make the bedroom a bit smaller actually no i think we could probably leave it like this to be honest let's get rid of this a lot of, lot of um light switches on the floor i think i think we'll just leave it how it is so what do we want to start with I suppose first things first will be to paint the rooms. We'll do the floor first because that's very quick. So let's have a look. The floors don't take very long to do. Painting and tiling take quite a while to do. So 
Let's have a look then. On the floor. Oh look, my cat's decided to join the video. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to distract Beowulf. Mwah. You better, oh sorry, you better not start asking to go out of my room. <laughs> You're gonna mess up all the green screening now, aren't ya? You can see her towel, flipping hell. Right, so what kind of floor do we want in the bedroom? I suppose the bedroom would be the kind of place I'd want to have carpet. I think it's floor panels and coverings, yeah. I think I'm just going to get a basic fitted beige carpet. This is the kind of carpet you always seem to get in houses that you rent privately. This is just the generic bloody carpet that all the houses seem to have. So we're going to get this in the bedroom because it's good to have carpet in the bedroom, I guess. And then uh, the rest of the house can have this like wooden floors. Um, what kind of flooring do we want? I don't know if I want to keep it like a dark wood or if I want to like maybe this colour, sort of in the middle. This one would be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? That looks good. All right, and let's do this bit. Here. Doing the floor is so satisfying because it's so damn quick. Lovely. This is a lot darker than what I'm... I mean, look at, look at the colour of that panel in my hand. And then look at the colour of the bloody um, flooring. It doesn't look the same at all, but never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Cover that bit over too. Oh, God. Lovely. Right. I'm not sure how much space we're going to have in this kitchen. So it's probably just going to be a generic kitchen with... Probably with a... Um, I guess a sink, maybe a microwave, possibly an oven, and that'll probably be about it. I don't think we could fit a fridge. I suppose we could fit a fridge in the living room somewhere. We could put a fridge like here, I guess, but that'd be a bit weird. Right, what do we want the kitchen floor to look like? Let's have a look. Floor tiles. Um, I mean, that looks pretty kitcheny, doesn't it? Oh god, Lola just went behind the green screen. Here we go. Green screen's gonna fall down any minute now. I think this looks quite kitcheny, doesn't it? Oh no, she's gonna start asking to leave my room now. You're not leaving my room. You're gonna, you're gonna stay in here for the next hour and 20 minutes, Lola. You ain't leaving, you're staying. I told you when I shut the door that you've got to stay here. I warned you. Come here. Come here. Hey, get on the, get on the bed. Get on the bed, that's it. Yeah, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Have a sleep, come on. Bloody cat, distracting me and ruining my commentary. <laughs> right, now the bathroom. I think I might just get light. How is that light yellow? That looks like, like just a dirty white to me. Light blue. I suppose light blue would be all right for the bathroom, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. Look at the state of these walls, and this is after I've cleaned it as well. Disgusting. But I'm gonna decorate all the floors, then I'm gonna paint all the walls, then we're going to go around doing all of the installations, like the plumbing and stuff for all of the shower and the uh, toilet and all the radiators and things. Then we'll do all the light switches and we'll do all of the uh, lights in the rooms. And then once that's all done, we can start building doors and we can start like buying furniture and stuff. Oh, forgot to sell that. Get rid of that. You can't get rid of these, I don't think. I think you just have to deal with them being there. So you can't change the location of plug sockets, which it doesn't really affect anything. So it's not a big deal. Right, now the walls. So first things first, I'm going to do the painting because that's a little bit quicker. Tiling in this game is really slow and we're going to have to tile the bathroom and the kitchen. So it's going to be, uh, going to be a bit annoying, but we'll do the painting first. Now, I think... Obviously for this house, I'm just going to do whatever, but when we go to the next house, I will do everything that you guys and girls mentioned. Because it's a lot bigger, we can do a lot with the next house. Um, I, suppose we can keep the, I suppose we can keep the bedroom looking pretty, pretty basic, you know, just pretty, pretty generic. The kind of how it would look if you ever try to rent a private property. They always look the same, they've always got this like beige carpet. They keep the house looking very neutral because it's, it's easier to sell. Because if you go into a house and it's got like bright orange walls or bright pink walls, you're, you, I guess you're less likely to rent it. 
I mean, I, I personally wouldn't care really. A house is a house, but it does bother a lot of people. So this is what most houses look like. So if I keep it pretty generic, maybe I've got more chance of selling it quicker. So uh, what kind of upgrades do I have for my uh, for my painting? Because in my own playthrough, I can paint four walls now. <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong one. Where is it? Where's, is that it? Oh, there you go. I clicked on the wrong one. That looks like a paint roller. So we could paint two walls at once. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, okay. It's, it's going to take a bit longer then. I think this game would be pretty damn good in co-op. Like, you could have two people going around the house decorating it. It would have to be... Um, it'd have to be split screen or online co-op. I like painting in this game, it's pretty fun, but I think the thing that annoys me the most is um, obviously you've got to uh, deal with doing the windows and that's where it gets really annoying. Especially because if you look at the window, like if you paint this bit right here, that's all it tells you to paint, even when you do like the uh, emails and you do the missions. But there's actually a little bit here you need to paint as well. It doesn't tell you you need to, but if you don't paint it then you've got this like line of just mess. I mean, look how weird it looks, look. See, look how noticeable that is. So you have to do this bit as well, and it's just annoying to click on it. Right, I bought two paint cans. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need two, well, I probably will. Once you get all of the upgrades for painting, you can do near enough an entire room, depending on the size of it, obviously, with one paint can, so uh, it's pretty damn good. I need to get all the skills unlocked, just so we can like do all this stuff quicker. And then we can focus on doing things like furniture. Right, let's get this done. Make sure we're painting this annoying little bit here. Beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, this is just going to be a generic kind of house. And then when we go to the next one, I think what we'll do is we'll give it like a... I suppose we could sort of make it look like a log cabin. The outside won't look like a log cabin, but the inside can look like a log cabin. And we can give it like a dark sort of Halloween-y kind of theme. And also make it look pretty damn comfy with like a fireplace and all that good stuff. So we could do something like that. And then I could add like a little uh, kinky room to it as well. I'm not sure if they've got whips in this game and leather. But we can have a look. We can have a look. Because uh, that's what Maccabi Gamer wants. That's what Maccabi Gamer is going to get. Because I am an absolutely amazing house salesman. If you contact my firm and you're looking for a specific kind of real estate, my company's gonna get it for you. And if we can't purchase it for you, to sell it to you, we will just make it ourselves, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a right kinky house. <laughs> ah, brilliant. I have to make sure I get um, blinds or curtains as well, because that's something I keep on forgetting to put in every single house. Every house I've customized in this game, like renovated, I've not put any blinds or any curtains in any of the rooms because I always forget. So uh, we have to make sure we do that. Also, I think I mentioned in the beginning of this playthrough that you can also do outdoors as well. But apparently, you can't do that because that is an expansion. Oi! Oi! Stop it! Lola, come here. Come here. What are you doing? I'm trying to make a video. Come here. Come here. Look, come, come, come here. Come here. Oh, she is being a little punk. I knew it. I knew as soon as she was laying there, I knew I should have put her out of my room before I started recording. I'll move her in a minute. Oh, you have to wait a second, Lola. You have to wait a second. I've got to paint these walls first. Forgot what I was talking about now. Oh, yeah. Um, I mentioned that you could do the outdoors and stuff. Like, you could decorate the gardens. You could build pathways. You could build flowers. Plant flowers, I should say. Trees and all that good stuff. Well, that is actually part of an expansion that is on PC and it isn't currently on uh, PS4 because I thought it was just part of the game but no it's an expansion like a, a garden outdoor expansion which I guess ain't on PlayStation yet so if you do buy this you can't actually decorate your gardens until they release that DLC if they even do. Oi! Right let me just let the cat out because she's being a right little punk. I love ruining videos. Fucking hell. It's like
like having a child, ain't it? Jesus. That's what I imagine having kids would be like if you was to do YouTube. You just have your kid at the door constantly tapping like, Daddy, can we, can we play Pokemon? No, I'm recording videos. <laughs> I suppose that's what it would be like. Gosh, it's so annoying. But yeah, so if you do buy this game and you was excited to decorate your gardens and stuff, you can't actually do that on PS4 yet, so you'll have to get it on PC. But I'm going to assume they're going to bring the uh, garden expansion to PS4 eventually, so just wait for it to release on PS4, I guess. Right, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty damn good. Pretty basic. But yeah, we're going to leave it like that. Now, what are we going to do with that here? I think out here will be... Oops. I suppose out here could be like... Hmm. I want it to have a little bit of colour. Nothing too crazy, though. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. You can put... This is what I'm going to do in the next house, but it's going to take a long time. But you can put all these wood panels on the inside of your house and make it look like an actual log cabin. I think you can also use these for outside if you want to make your house look like a brick house on the outside. I think you can use these outdoors, but I'm not sure. You definitely can in the PC version, but that might be part of the garden upgrade. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it on the next house, make it look like a brick house. Uh, oh, God. Maybe sandy almond. Sand almond, maybe that. Like a little bit a little bit of yellow. Would that go well with this floor? I think, I think it would, wouldn't it? I guess. There's only one way. Oh, shit. I only bought one. I should have bought many. I think we might need... I'll get three in case. We can sell any extra paint anyway. Let's have a look. See how this looks. I mean, I've already bought the paint, so even if it looks bad, I'm going to do it. <laughs> mm. No, I don't know. I don't. I think it's a bit too. A bit too. I don't know. It isn't that bad, is it? It's not too bad. I think we can live with that. We can live with that. I mean, we're not living here anyway, so who cares? <laughs> oh, I mean, it looks better either way. I mean, look at these walls. Disgusting. When we go to the next property, I mean, it's not the next property. It's the fourth property. But I'm going to buy the fourth property when I've sold this one. When we go there, we have to actually start. Hey, look at that. Got some uh, coat hangers there. But we're going to... Um, what are we going to do? We're going to have to do plastering and stuff because there's a lot of holes in the walls. So we're going to have to do that as well when we go to the next house. And it's a lot bigger, so it'll take a lot longer to clean. But it's all good. It's not, it's not too bad, is it? It looks a bit weird at the moment because of this, this white frame, but there's going to be a door there anyway, so you won't see that. I don't know, it doesn't look too bad, does it? We'll have to see how it all looks together. Um, you also, in case you were wondering, I don't think you can paint the ceilings. I think you have to leave the, yeah, I think there's no way of painting the ceilings, which I suppose isn't too much of a problem. Although, in my old room when I was a kid, I did have blue ceilings, but that was because I had a... Uh, I had like space wallpaper when I was a kid, so um, it made sense to have like a blue ceiling. But yeah, you can't paint the ceiling in this game, I don't think. Just in case you were wondering. Which I suppose would be a bit of a problem, especially if you wanted to make like a photography room and you wanted to make it purely black. Or like a red room or something, it would be nice to be able to paint the ceilings red. Come on. I need a player too. I need someone to do the painting for me. I don't, or the tiling. Actually, no. They could do the tiling for me. I mean, painting is only a problem at the moment because um, I don't have all the skills unlocked, so it's a bit slower. Once you've got all of the other stuff unlocked, it's quicker. I mean, I like doing it, but it just takes so long because of the windows. I want to try and get the painting done and hopefully the tiling. I've got about 10 minutes left of this video, so we should... We should be able to get, I guess. 
No, I don't, I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get any kind of tiling done in that time. This tiling is so slow because you have to place each uh, tile individually. Well, I say individually, you've got to do a row at a time. It's sort of the same way as you paint. When you paint, you do like an entire row, don't you? It's the same with tiling, but you've got to pick one up, place it. Pick one up, place it, and that's what takes forever. Even with all of the upgrades, it still takes forever. Lovely. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, when I looked at the paint and I looked at the floor, the Bob Ross in me automatically knew it was going to look good. But then I painted one piece over here and then suddenly I started doubting myself. And that's one thing you should never do, Wolf and Wolfette. Don't doubt yourself. It's a terrible idea. There's plenty of people in the world to do the doubting for you. So uh, don't doubt yourself, Wolf and Wolfettes. If you think something looks good or you think something's a good idea, do it. Unless it involves murder, then that probably isn't a good idea. Or if it means building a bondage room in your house, that might also not be a good idea. <laughs> Unless that's what you and your partner are into, then yeah, it's a fantastic idea. Just make sure you have a safety word. Because, you know, safety is number one priority, as uh, the crazy Russian hacker would say. Oh, man, I could just imagine him saying that. And if you haven't seen the crazy Russian hacker, make sure you go and check out his channel. You've probably heard of him on YouTube because he's one of the biggest. He's got like 11 million subscribers. And he's also got another two channels with uh, a few million. So uh, you've probably heard of him, but he is, he is brilliant. One of the few people on YouTube to get big and not act like a cocky prick. He's great. Definitely go sub to him. But because he, he obviously he's Russian, and he speaks pretty damn good English considering he's Russian, but... Um, how he pronounces some things is what just makes it funny. Here, look. Oh, nice. We could paint three walls at the same time. I would prefer to get this just because you ain't got to uh, refill your paintbrush as much. But we're going to do this because it's a bit quicker. I don't think we needed to get three tins, but better to be safe than sorry. Do we want to paint this bit as well? I don't know if this will be... I don't know if we should leave this white or not. If it looks weird, we could paint it white again after anyway. I don't know, man. This looks a lot better than I uh, thought it would. I'm sure everyone in the comments is like, nah, nah, Beowulf, it looks like shit. <laughs> oh, I've already got paint on my brush, apparently. Look at that. Oh, yes, that's much better. Much better. Once you've got all the skills, it's so quick to paint. Right, let's get rid of all these paint cans everywhere. Look at it. I mean, I'm literally putting paint cans, and it looks like it's been dripping as well, on brand new carpets and brand new, uh, what is this stuff called? What is it called? I always forget what this stuff's bloody called. Because it's not actual wood, it's like a covering that looks like wood. Like lino or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm forgetting, the, I'm forgetting the words. Never mind. Right. Let's have a look at the tiles. Now, this is where things are going to take about 55 years. Wall panels, I guess. or No, wall tiles. You can have um, wallpaper as well, but there's a very small selection, and most of them look very old granny-ish. I suppose that would be nice for, like, a Japanese sort of themed house or something. That's probably the most. That would be good for, like, some romantic kind of room, I guess. Like, some sort of love heart room or something, some valentine sort of room. This one is probably the most plain of the uh, wallpapers, but it's got flowers on it. That one is straight up old granny, and so is that one. That's definitely old granny style right there. <laughs> okay, right, wall tiles. Right, what do we want for the kitchen? Oh, that looks quite kitcheny, but I don't like how. That looks a bit... That's not cream, that's yellow. That's like brownie yellow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'd be good for the kitchen, wouldn't it? We have to make sure we buy many. I'd rather buy too many than not enough. Uh, and then what do we want for the bathroom? Ceramic white tiles would probably be good. Just something basic for the bathroom. I mean, I, I think what we're going to put on the wall right now is actually what's already in here. Just obviously, it's going to be clean, so... Oh no, the floor's already looks like that. It doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, we can make it look the same. It's all good. It's only a bathroom. Right. I think this looks pretty damn good. This looks pretty damn good. I'm sure everyone in the comments will disagree. But I don't give a damn. I'm not changing it. 
Right. Oh my god, it's very slow to do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. I really need to get some more of those talents. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing it like an old man. Look, look at this, look at this slow shit. It's very, uh, very accurate how he's spreading the uh, plaster or the cement or whatever on here. Look at that. Even doing the correct shape that you're supposed to do. Does it look good? Does it look alright? I don't know. I think I might need to change the flooring, possibly. See what I mean now? You've got to individually pick, it, pick each one up. Can you imagine if you actually had to do one square at a time, like in real life? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't think anybody would bother tiling in this game, because I've not been tiling. I've been, um, I've been decorating the houses that I like properly, and the ones that are pretty, like, meh. Like too small or I don't like the shape of them then I've just been painting all the rooms because I can't be bothered with the tiling <laughs> so uh, yes I, feel, I don't even think four packs will be enough look at the difference though it's crazy what a bit of paint can do for a house I think the next house you could buy I think it's called the burned house and uh, yeah, I guess there's been a fire or some shit, but that house is an absolute state. The amount of cleaning you need to do is ridiculous. Lovely. Once all this is done, we can probably, uh, in the next video at least, get everything else done. I suppose it depends on how much time we want to spend doing the furniture because you really can get pretty intricate with your furniture because you can buy like individual knives and forks and plates so you could buy a table and then you could leave it like that a table and chairs or you could literally buy some plates and put them onto the table carefully so it looks good then you could put a knife and fork next to all the plates as well if you wanna then I think you could probably buy a candle so you could put some candles on the table it depends on how detailed you want to get I haven't really been bothering to get too detailed when I played this on my own, but as I'm doing a YouTube video, I'll probably go to the to the absolute limits. Not with this house though, this house I'm just, just making it look decent, selling it for as much as I can, and then buying the bigger house so you guys and girls can get all of the things that you asked me to do in the comments. Because if you keep commenting, keep giving me ideas, then I can build like one house that's got everything that you guys and girls want. Then we can all live in it together. And if we all have jobs, the split of the rent will be like puny. Like let's say the rent's a thousand pound, which uh, that's probably what the rent's, well that's what the rent's like in my area. One thousand and something just for a, a shitty private flat. So yeah, it's pretty pathetic. But um, if we all live in our house together and we have to split a uh, one thousand pound rent between like, I don't know, six of us or some shit, we'll be fine, we would. We'd be fine. We'd be paying like 200 each or some crap. We'd be sorted. I need to buy a tin of white paint to do these door frames because I don't use the tiles on the door frames because that makes no sense at all. You cannot do that. That'd just be weird. It wouldn't work anyway. You wouldn't be able to shut the door anymore. Oh God. All the kids are in the playground screaming. The schools are still closed in England if you're wondering. But um, the school is open just for kids that have parents that work in like the NHS and shops and stuff. I think I already mentioned it. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now. We'll carry on with this next time. So yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Bets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry if my commentary was a bit messed up. I was uh, severely distracted by a certain little baby cat that wanted to ruin my videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll finish off the walls next time and start doing all of the installations, the plumbing and all that. Like, share and join the pack today.